Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're hitting an earthquake, astronomy exploration of a mysterious quasar, and a brand new mystery about the sun, but one that observers may not think is actually such a mystery. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, like staring down the barrel of a gun. Corona hole crossing central heliographic longitudes, plasma filaments to the north and south. Its solar wind will be arriving at Earth about a day later than we initially thought, and that's a very good thing. We'll see why in a moment, but first, the sunspot situation is one of decay. All the big spots are turning away, and what remains is smaller and incapable of significant flaring. The filaments in Corona Hole Stream are the only space weather to watch for right now, and since it looks like the enhancement of the solar wind stream won't occur until at least Monday, Hurricane Aaron will have already started turning north. Chances for U.S. impact are dwindling. Top quake of the last day was an unusual location shake here, one of the largest in Queensland's recorded history. Hopefully a one-off event, not a sign of bigger things to come. Up next, active galactic nuclei, the powerful galactic central engines and plasma jets. They had been curious about one that had appeared to be moving slowly, but somehow returned some of the highest energy of any of them. The new study shows it's a blazar, and the jet is less than one degree off from being directly pointed at Earth. So when the jet bends a bit, it looks slow and small, but it's pumping its power almost perfectly in our direction, allowing for those ultra-high readings. The top story today, a new mystery involving gamma rays in the sun. They can't begin to understand where some of these emissions are coming from, but they make some interesting guesses, and one of them, probably pretty close. An unaccounted for component of cosmic rays and gamma rays at the sun. Folks, that's a direct prediction of the interaction with the galactic current sheet, which we have previously discussed is the only way to actually explain the changes happening in our solar system right now. This is the cause of the disaster cycle, and our documentary on this comes out this fall. Goldobservers.com is our sponsor, and we are both very proud to say we've worked out the process to give the documentary away for free. It will be accessible to everyone. Just a couple of months away now, and we greatly appreciate all of you who contributed, and of course, Course, our sponsor goldobservers.com if you're behind on your precious metals prepping why not keep your business with the observer family folks we've got a pole shift conference coming later this month one in september too along with dr dunning coming to founders weekend if anyone is around today it is the dog days of summer family fun event at observer ranch we'd love to see you out there for that we've got more big events coming in october and november as well including our second observer speed dating and connections event the first one was pretty mind-blowing several connections made and whether you just want to meet other observers or find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord turns out observer ranch was a major spark of light the first time around november 7th and 8th is round two find a time to come see us book your stay at observerranch.com we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone